Welcome back to Abacet Math. In this video we're going to do step two of our linear two variable Diophantine equation. In step two what we're uh, tasked to find is uh, any one solution to uh, the specific uh, Diophantine equation, in this case x prime plus 7y prime equals 41. And I stress that we're looking for basically any one solution. So uh, for, for most practical purposes, any, any solution that we find will, will serve our purposes, as we'll see. Uh, now, there is, in fact, a systematic way to find this uh, single one solution to uh, aid in our solution process, and it's called the extended Euclid algorithm. Um, and that's something you could uh, look up on Wikipedia if you're if you're curious about. Uh, it's a purely mechanical process, and it's not something that uh, has ever been tested on the AMC or the AIM, to my knowledge. Uh, it's something that's uh, good to know if you're programming a computer. It's good to know that there is, in fact, an efficient algorithm available. But for purposes of uh, the type of testing that you'll encounter, it's not something that you'll need to know. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to be dealing with uh, Diophantine equations where the uh, coefficients in front of these variables is something in a reasonable range, possibly uh, one-digit numbers or, at most, uh, a low two-digit number. So we can deal with sort of a, a more efficient method to find uh, these solutions, and we don't really have to avail ourselves to uh, the full-blown extended Euclid algorithm. So the method that we're going to use is we're going to look at this equation and we're going to take the term with the largest coefficient, 7, and bring that over to the other side. So in this case we'll form uh, 3x prime is equal to 41 minus 7y prime. And now it turns out we're just going to have to do a check and guess process where we're going to try different values for y prime and see if we can form uh, a difference here that is a multiple of 3. Now it turns out that because this coefficient is 3, the, the maximum number of guesses that we'll need is in fact 3. So that's not too bad, and if you actually notice any pattern in your guesses, you, you, you may need less than 3. Uh, so let's just go ahead and take some dumb guesses here. So let's uh, try the simplest one, of course, is y prime equal to 0, and that will form uh, the number 41 on the right-hand side here, and we find that 41 is not a multiple of 3. So let's try y prime equal to 1. Uh, so that's equals 41 minus 7. That's 34. That 2 is not a multiple of 3. So let's try y prime equal 2. That's our last guess in that direction. Uh, and we find that that does, in fact, form a multiple of 3. So we find that that's a correct guess. And uh, if we plug that back into this equation, we'll find that uh, x prime is equal to 9. And from the previous sheet, we found that our uh, infinite solution set for the uh, uh, zero form of this equation is uh, y hat is equal to minus 3n and uh, x hat is equal to 7n and from that we can form the general solution set for x, y uh, elements of uh, all z and in this case we find that we can uh, uh, add up the x's, that's uh, 9 plus 7n, add up the y's, 2 minus 3n, and that is the general form of the solution to the uh, full Diophantine equation that we sought. Um, just to make a few comments here, uh, we could have guessed in the other direction. Instead of choosing positive values for y prime, we could have guessed in the other direction. So, for example, we could have guessed uh, y prime equal to minus 1, for instance. Uh, plug that back into the equation. And then we find that on the right side we end up with 48. And that, too, is a, a multiple of 3. So we have to consider that a valid solution as well. This would lead to uh, x prime equal to 16 and now from this set we can form uh, another 
expression or uh, characterization of the infinite solution set uh, to be the 16 plus the 7n and in this case we have y prime equals minus 1 minus the 3n and this too is a valid solution set and if we look at these two sets of solutions we realize that these are pretty much equivalent uh, the only thing that's happened in going from one set of solutions to the other is that we basically just shifted the value of n. So we really probably shouldn't call this n, we should probably maybe call that m. And so the difference between m and n is only shifted by one unit value, and they are in fact equivalent uh, uh, characterizations for the full solution set. So before we leave this solution set, uh, I want to make one comment about uh, the case where we're only considering uh, solutions x, y elements of positive integers and that comes up uh, fairly frequently in the AMC and the AIM testing and in this case we basically have to look to our solution set and try to decide how we can make both x and y equal to positive given the fact that we can express x and y using these two equations so for the first equation we want x to be positive so we basically know that 9 plus 7n has to be positive so we have one condition that uh, 9 plus 7n has to be greater than 0 and for the y condition we have 2 minus 3n also has to be greater than 0 and so from this first equation we can conclude that n has to be greater than or equal to minus 1 and then for the second equation we see that n has to be less than or equal to 0 and from that we can basically find that we only have two values of n that can satisfy both of these equations at the same time their n is equal to 0 and n is equal to minus 1 and in the case of n equals 0 we can plug this back into our equation to find that the x and the y that we seek is 9 and 2 and in the second equation we find that the, uh, the x and y that we seek when we plug it all back in is equal to 2 and 5 and so we know that this solution set in x and y are the only solutions that are both positive in x and y and that often is, is the requirement that we're looking for in some of the equations that we'll encounter so uh, take a look at that and with our next video we'll, uh, we'll wrap this all up and move on to the Pythagorean theorem so see you then Bye.